Hello YouTube, this is a couch coated fire alarm pull station. As you can see, this is a pretty vintage fire alarm that I got on eBay not too long ago. The difference between a coated fire alarm pull station and a regular fire alarm pull station is that a coated fire alarm pull station sends out a code to a specific part of a building to inform people to know what area the emergency is at or occurring. Right here, I have its cousin, the Faraday Chevron, kind of made by the same company, which only, which does not have a code. So when I pull this, this will send out a continuous alarm instead of a coded alarm. And if I open this, this particular pull station will have a button to send out that continuous alarm, as you can see right there. And no special mechanisms except or some wiring terminals. So if I go ahead and lock that, you can see this is a standard fire alarm pull station. When we look to this one, this is a coded fire alarm pull station, and this one's particular code is 2652. That's its code. If we look right here, we have the couch logo, the key, hex key lock, Pull down fire local fire alarm. Fire alarm does call fire department. In this case, it does not call the fire department. And you have your code right there, which is 2652. So, yeah. Also, this is your break glass and break glass rod area where you can unlock this and it will open it. Sorry about the camera auto correcting or auto focusing as well. So if I go ahead and move this around, whoops, you can see this one has a mechanism unlike this one, which has terminals. This one has a whole mechanism to drive a code wheel to give out that coded alarm, except for this one just has a button and some terminals. Moving that aside, you can see we have a mechanism in there which is manually driven by gears instead of a motor and we have pigtail wires right here which is this is your negative this is your red is your positive and blue is your ground wires right here you have a spring as well and a large gear turning it to this side we have the code wheel itself which gives out the code as you can see, this little notch right there will rub against these codes, giving out the code 2652. And this is where the this is what powers all the alarms in the building. So let's go ahead and pull this. Now you can actually either send out code once, twice, three times, or four times. In this case, I'm gonna pull it just two times so it can only code two times which is halfway so you will hear a tick as you can see it just gave off two ticks i'm gonna go ahead and let go of the pull lever and you hear start the you'll hear the code wheel starring up so if i go ahead and turn this around you can see the code wheel is moving on those notches right there, giving out the code 2652. And it'll restart itself. Right here, you can see the gears all moving in there. And I'll go ahead and turn on my light right now so you can get a better look in that. But you can see the gears moving in there. Pretty cool to me how old fire alarm appliances worked back then. And now, I'll go ahead and stop this code. There it goes. So now, we'll be moving on to the fun part, and actually activating it with an alarm. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here's the fun part of this video, and that is actually testing the coded fire alarm pull station. So I'm gonna go ahead and code it two times by pulling down the lever halfway. 
So, without further ado, let's go ahead and test it. Here we go. Pretty loud. So the code again. And that's the final code, and the code wheel will reset back to its original position and stop the mechanism. So, let's go ahead and try to see the code wheel in action while sounding the alarm. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it again, and you'll see it, you'll see the code wheel hit those notches right there and code the fire alarm. So let's go ahead, pull it two times again, and let's start. go. As you will see, it will stop right here. As you can see, it stopped, and it has done its code. Alright. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see, we made it to the end. Um, finding these pool stations are a little rare. If you find one at a good price, get it. These are pretty fun play around and mess with so great addition to my collection anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day